Hi everyone, this is Fake Hair Mama. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to have a little fun and get into some longer wigs um, that I've been wearing. And I have two from Motown Trust today, uh, the Flirt Wig. The color I'm wearing uh, right now is the R61327. And they're calling it a rainbow color. And I don't know what that means, but the color is well blended and I love this color. It's got some strawberry blonde in there and some platinum and uh, I like how it warms up my skin tone. This is the uh, stock photo of how she is, um, but she didn't come that way for me. <laughs> she was a lot more hair, uh, too much hair for me, but if you like big hair, then she's the wig for you. <laughs> So I did have to do some thinning uh, around the temple area and even the bangs I had to thin and trim. And I also um, did some rooting on the top to make her look realistic. But other than that, I really love this style. It's the kind of hair I always wanted in high school. <laughs> I tried to get, but didn't have enough hair for it. Um, it does have some nice layers, a nice shag. The fibers are a little coarse and I have been um, having some success with uh, the silicone serum from Styling Silk and I just put a dime size in my palm with a couple of drops of glycerin and just apply it to the ends to keep her soft but if I'm um, or even like in the back where uh, wigs get this one gets matted pretty pretty quickly in the back on the nape of the neck i'll put some back there but not every time i wear her because um, otherwise um, she'll start to look greasy but if i'm getting ready to wash her i will do like a full treatment all over the wig let it sit for at least 10 to 15 minutes and then wash her i've i've left it on for a couple days before and it's hasn't been an issue it doesn't all wash out so it, it does stay behind some of it stays behind and it's nice and soft. So it keeps it nice and hydrated. The other color I have is um, supposedly the same colors in there, but it looks like a totally different wig. And I had um, featured this wig on my wig fail video. And this one is 27FT613 and it's called Frost Patchy. Well, it was definitely patchy. Um, I have done a little more work to her since that video. I did um, put some rooting in her to try to make her look more natural. And I did also use some of the root spray um, to try to even out some of those blonde patches that she has. And um, She's getting there, but I, I still feel I need to do some more work with her before I wear her in public. So, supposedly for the same color numbers, doesn't look the same to me. Um, the darker 27 looks more like a coppery, dark auburn color. And the 613 seems true to color, like a platinum. And that's mostly, the platinum is mostly underneath uh, the darker hair color. And, you know, some people do dye their hair, their natural hair that way. Um, but I think I will be like trying to darken her a little more because I am trying to uh, venture into like brunette wigs and colors, um, still with, you know, some highlights and that kind of thing. But uh it was my natural hair color and fall's coming and looking for some warmer colors. <laughs> um, so I will try her on for you. And we'll show you the cap before. So there's a small um, velvet strip there. There is some permatease on top, but you really you can't tell, you know, it's not hard to hide. It's well um, put in there, like to keep the, the hairstyle up. And then some wefting 
and it does have the hook adjusters but these I feel are a little better I don't know if you can see the bottom part of the hook here kind of goes up um, so it's less likely to become unhooked during the day and the uh, ex the nape is not extended and there is no uh, Velcro here. So still love the style. That's why I hate to like give up on her. <laughs> So love those layers and well, I haven't made any adjustments to this cap but I probably should if you've seen my uh, resizing videos on other wigs I've had to um, make the caps a little smaller to fit my head but I guess this was before I was doing that <laughs> I um, did some searching before I came on today to see where you could buy her if you wanted to get her. Um, I looked on, I either got mine from Uptown Wigs or Ebony Line and uh, neither one of them carries like, especially the lighter color, they carry more like black or really dark brown and the other colors are not available right now. But I did stumble upon a new wig site that I hadn't um, seen before. It's called Wow Wigs. And um, they're out of California. I've never bought anything from them, so I don't know how their service is. But um, they had all the colors from light to dark. And I think they were asking about $43 to $44 for her. But they also had like a 30% sale going on. So if you want to try her, I would... Highly recommend her. Um, if you like a lot of hair, then you probably won't have to do anything with her. <laughs> but if you don't mind doing a little work to her, then um, she could be a good wig for you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just want to thank all my subscribers out there. It means so much to me that um, you guys are following me and um, watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. There's a lot more uh, videos coming, how-to videos, and more uh, wig reviews. Have a great day.